Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will show you step by step process how we can easily use Soling for scheduling. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is go to top right and click get started. Now I'm going to click create a new Sling account and I'm going to add a first name, Marcus Stone, email address like this, phone number and password and here we go so when you have it if you already have this like you have your account just skip this part but now we are going to in I'm going to verify my email it's going to take a few seconds here and look at this verify email And we just need to wait for a while until it loads. And here we go. So company name, I will add here Sanwi LLC. Industry, I'm in. Let's find it. Other industry name, I'm in consulting. Maybe I've, I've maybe there is a consulting. Construction, customer support, I can't find it. Number of employees, 120. Next, position name. So I'm going to add a customer support, then operatives, then manager, let's say. Then next, you just add their positions. Set up your schedule, finally add a few employees so you have someone to schedule name Marcus employee one Marcus employee two like this and customer support I'm going to add Marcus customer support start scheduling and voila here you go so you can also change the time zone yes and here we go so when you're gonna come here on the dashboard, uh, you're gonna see like everything here that you gotta have four employees that I have. Look at this. Then we have three positions as a customer support manager operatives, one location. And in each of these, you can simply add locations. You can add groups, you can add tags, you can add announcements, labor costs. So this is just uh, for the labor. Okay, and let's just start straight away. When you're gonna click on the dashboard, you're gonna have the four employees. When you would click on the four employees, you can simply go here and add another employee. Add the individual employee, multiple employees, import list, get shareable link. So this is how we can uh, add employees. Also, when you already added employees, you can edit the profile of your employees. You can delete them or deactivate the employee. So when I'm going to click edit the profile here. And you can edit everything about it. Employee ID, system role, locations, positions, groups, managers, hire date, preferred hours per week. Then you're going to see the wages here. Pay type, hourly or annual salary. So that's something you can do. And this is how we can edit your employee then you're gonna see positions here next to your employee in positions you can simply add a position i'm not going to add them because we added them in the beginning but this is how we can add positions and it's like pretty straightforward and pretty easy then we're gonna see location here and on location you can simply click here add a location so if you're working with multiple locations you can add it right here. Groups, you can add a group, and then you can add the tags. These are really straightforward and really fast ways how we can use the dashboard. We will go into schedule task, messages, newsfeed, and all the juicy stuff right here. This is just like introduction into the dashboard. Now, when I would click add a tag, I can tag name, YouTube, and that's it, right? And I can use the tag in a schedule. So the last thing are settings. 
and you can change everything here from the time format from the shift appearance on the calendar everything so when we have the dashboard figure it out what you need to do is to write on click here on schedule also when you would be on settings next to the time clock you would see labor costs and you can see uh, everything here overtime per hour weekly overtime starts after and edit also currency here so when i'm going to click on the schedule here you're going to see multiple schedules that you can uh, like use and you have options so like see unassigned shifts available shifts and then we have the employees here so i can uh see also here for location menu for positions employees that i can search for tags and events what i want to have then you can see my schedule if i'm like employee pending approval unavailability on the right side you can also enter full screen you can copy the shifts to next week you can print them export them you can also make unassigned shifts available then you can also start time position like filtering here so let's just see here unassigned shifts let's say 2nd august let's say that it's going to be friday from 9 a.m to 5 p.m okay position for operatives and you can also add the tags here slots publish yes and this is how i can publish unassigned shift look at this and what i could do i could easily because i'm like the ceo move it to wherever i want and sometimes continue scheduling sometimes when you're gonna like unassigned shifts people they can take it right if they have the option to take it and now unassigned shifts available shifts again Sigos August add position for customer support and again I can move it completely easy now what you can do is also recurring to the shift to make a repeat over time also you can as you can see if you're going to open the shift you can add a recurrence to the shift to make the repeat over time then you can also add a task to the shift to specify what must be done so i can add a recurring repeat every single week and when it's going to end let's say 30 first of august and you can also add a note add a task here so you can see that this thing appear here youtube and task youtube script publish save and voila when i would come here and i would go to month i can see that every single friday as you can see we're gonna have the schedule here pretty straightforward pretty easy you have to like play around with this but this is how we pretty much do it now the next thing what you're gonna see is my schedule uh, when you go like employee or the ceo you would see your schedule what needs to be done pending approval of available shifts here you need to like approve them and unavailability so like in which time i would be unavailable like here right safe And in this time i wouldn't be able to like available then next to the schedule you're gonna see tasks here let's go to that oh you can create a template or you're gonna have like shift tasks here task template go to top right create a template and now title i would just simply add uh youtube tasks description nothing and the subtasks youtube script youtube video and then create
and here you got it right next to the tasks you get also messages and you would have tasks here messages that needs to be done on the schedule right you go with like group conversation here private conversation and then next to the messages you would have news feed that's another part and then you would like page for everyone to see and then last thing reports reports would be like payrolling here and you would see reports of how much uh, they spent from the work perspective how much they were gonna get like paid right so that's how it works and then the last thing are time clock and you would see uh you would select time clock of your employees so this is pretty much it how you can use the sling this was like straightforward uh click walkthrough of how we can use it thank you very much guys for watching if you can have any questions ask me down in the comments and have a great day and goodbye see ya